This is gonna be a video on how to make your Sprint Samsung Galaxy S4 Tether. As of right now, you can't just simply install the Wi-Fi Tether for root users app and root your Samsung Galaxy S4, or not root, but Tether your Galaxy S4. It just doesn't work, you'll get errors. This is by far the easiest way and uh, there's no alternate apps you have to use or anything like that. So in the description, there's gonna be a link and you'll just click on it and it'll take you to this webpage. If you don't feel like, you know, clicking the link in the description or something, you can simply just type in is.gd slash s4 and then capital T E T H E R. So S4 Tether. And then just hit the little checkbox. It'll bring you to an XD8 thread by Craw RJ. I've seen his name several times in this community. So in here you'll see links to like MF9 Deodex, MF9 Odex, MDL Deodex, MDL Odex, MDC Deodex, and MDC Odex. So to find out whether your phone is Odex or Deodex, he has instructions right here. You go to System and then Apps. So we'll need to download, I wonder if she has ES File Explorer on here. She does, she has ES File Explorer. So in here we're just gonna go to our system directory, go to apps, and then we do see Odex files on a lot of the things in here. So we know that we're on Odex ROM. We're gonna go back to the browser here, and we are on MF9. How are you gonna tell that is if you press menu, system settings, and then you go here to more, and you go down to about device. And it'll say your build number should be MF9, and your baseband should be MF9. Of course, if you're watching this video and there's a newer build because Android 4.3 is coming to the S4 and the S3 and the Note 2 very soon. So you might this this will get updated and you'll be able to simply just go, okay, um, on his, you know, forum here, he now has a newer build of this. You'll just need to make sure it matches. Like I said, if 4.3 comes out and if he posts a link to a 4. like a MJ I don't know, one or something, uh, you'll just, <laughs> you can use this video even if you have a newer build, you'll just want to make sure that it matches what you have. So since we have MF9 and we're Odexed, we're going to click this link right here. It's going to take us to this uh, live page thing, and then we're just going to click on it, and then we're going to hit Chrome again, and then it's going to start downloading right there. Sweet. And uh, this doesn't take long to download at all. I don't think it's that big of a zip. Okay, now here's a, two ways you can do this. You can go into custom recovery or you can use mobile Odin. This device doesn't even have custom recovery. I will show you that when I go to titanium backup. The reason I don't have custom recovery is because I was waiting for the 4.3 update to come out and I was just going to apply it on top of my ROM if it worked. Because um, CF Auto Root does not put custom recovery on your device. All it does is simply root it and you keep your stock recovery. See, we have completely stock recovery from Sprint and Samsung. If you had custom recovery, you would just go to install, you would choose internal, external, or your flash drive, and you would see where it's at, and you press on the MF9 Odex zip, and you would install it. Since we don't have custom recovery, and we're not gonna be installing custom recovery, we can use mobile Odin, which is something I've never showed you guys before. You probably more you're probably aware of it, but I'm just gonna show you. All right, so Mobile Odin is a five dollar app. If you go to his XDA thread, there is a light version, but you've got to go on there and it'll bring you to the XDA thread, and you'll have to download a specific file meant for your phone. I couldn't find one for the L seven two zero. I did find the L seven one zero, the D two SPR, but I couldn't find one for the. Uh, JFT, whatever this model is. I can never remember the letters. But, uh, so I went ahead and just bought the paid version on my wife's name because I have it on my name. So we're just going to go to our apps here and we're going to find this mobile Odin. It is available in the Google Play Store for a fee of $4.99. It is highly, highly worth it. So we're going to go here to OTA right here, update.zip, and we're going to choose internal. And then it's going to uh, bring up all these directories. We're going to go to our download folder. And we're going to see that MF9 hotspot mod Odex zip. 
that bad boy right there. And then we're just going to press on it. And I don't change any settings. I don't mess with anything. I just go down here and I choose flash firmware and I hit continue. And then it's going to do all this neat stuff for me. Now, unfortunately, I won't be able to show you how well the hotspot mod works because uh, my signal goes out completely. My battery dies very fast. My wife's S4 doesn't have any signal at all. And my Samsung Galaxy Note 3 does not have any signal at all either. So, unfortunately, I will not be able to show you tethering in action but i promise you i did this to someone else's phone and they were in an area with 4g lte and it worked beautifully so here is the little screen you're going to see when you install this using mobile odin this is kind of like the screen you saw whenever you flashed uh you know when you rooted it with cf auto root um it says something about a green android not a blue and i believe that was blue so i don't know if that was bad or i have no clue so we're gonna let this boot up here and we're gonna see, you know, what happens. Android is upgrading, just fast forward to this. All right, that took a little while of Android is upgrading. So just bear, keep that in mind, it did take mine a second. And all we're gonna simply do is we're going to go to our settings here and then we're gonna go to, and then when we're here, we're gonna go to hotspot. You can press on it or you can just simply press on but if you're running this for the very first time I do recommend pressing on it and then you can go here and you can allow only certain devices that you've allowed you can press the configure button and change this to like uh, just L720 and then for the password um, I honestly this is kind of stupid but Dr. Pepper is exactly eight letters and it's very easy to remember it, is, it must be at least eight characters, so and it just fits in there perfectly. So I just choose that password, and let me bring the keyboard down, press show password, Dr. Pepper, and there are advanced options like broadcast. Wow, I didn't even know you could broadcast over 5 gigahertz. That's cool. So you can choose whether you want to broadcast over 2.4 or 5 gigahertz. It's up to you, and maximum number of connections, you can change that. That's going to be pretty cool because you're probably going to have more than two devices connected to your hotspot. And then we'll just hit save. And then you just go here and you tap the on button and press OK. And it'll turn on your hotspot. It'll say hotspot activated. It won't give you any errors. I can tell you that I was on someone else's laptop and it took about four to five minutes for it to like the little symbol that means you don't have internet access. Like it's identifying what kind of network it is. After like three or four minutes... It finally asked me if it was a home connection, a public network or something, and it connected and it was using the 4G LTE from Sprint to tether his Galaxy S4 to his laptop. So it was pretty freaking cool. And up here it said like what the MAC address or whatever the laptop was. And I also had my phone connected to his for troubleshooting because it wasn't working. A lot, Like I said, it took it a few minutes. So I connected my phone. My phone connected right away. So... You could actually like take your Galaxy S4 and tether it to your Nexus 7 or you could tether it to a friend's phone, tablet, laptop. Uh, the new PS4 and Xbox One come out next month and I will be doing unboxing videos of both of those consoles the day they release. So please subscribe if you want to see videos on those. But uh, you'd be able to use your Galaxy S4 to tether to your Xbox 360, your Xbox One, your PlayStation 3, your PlayStation 4. You can use this to tether to anything that has a wireless connection. So if this video helped you enable free Wi-Fi tether on your Samsung Galaxy S4, please give this video a thumbs up. It's just a small favor, but trust me, it goes a long way. And it lets me know you want to see more videos like this. I post quite a bit on Instagram. I post a lot on Twitter. I also have Facebook, Google+. I'll be live streaming on Ustream and Twitch TV when the new consoles come out. Links to my Twitch TV and my Ustream will be in the description below. Links to everything will be in the description below. Please click where it says show more and you'll be able to see everything that's in the description. If you're new to my channel, please make sure you don't leave without hitting that subscribe button below. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.